in order to just to finish the back off what we need to do is we need to have a good strong backboard this is Coricore and this works perfectly well in this conservation process it is strong it is hard and it purpose of it is to actually stop damage coming in from the back of the uh, artwork itself so I would place the actual board in the frame itself and I would put pins probably between 100 and 150 millimeters apart to hold the board in place as I've said in this case we're using Coricore you can use conservation boards there are several on the market but framers should avoid using grey board or any poor quality board because remember we're talking about conservation processes and in some cases the majority of the deteriorating agents will come from the backboard and from poor backboard itself. Once we have all the frame parts into the actual frame itself we need to secure the back and I do so by using these pins these are steel pins and they're rigid semi-rigid or flexible pins will not good for conservation work because they could bend and so what I'm going to do is put the rigid pins in and I use them at about between 100 and 150 millimeters apart as a clue this wedge part at the back of the actual pin gun itself if I put that up to the edge of the moulding like so so that is a good place to start with the first pin at each edge and then I would take in this case one in the middle and that's how I would actually locate the pins remembering that these are rigid pins and they actually come like that what I'm doing now is I'm going to seal up the back of the frame to prevent any dust or debris getting in through the back so I've cut four strips of brown gum tape to the suitable length I'm now going to moisten those with my sponge and water I lay it across the back of the frame onto the edges and then taking my cloth I just fasten that down make sure the adhesive is taken and then I cut down the edge here And then gradually put it down into the corners and tape over. And make sure it's all sealed at this these sides and take the ruler and trim off the excess. One piece. If for instance you end up with a piece getting a bit like that, then I just re-moisten or re-wet it and fasten it down. Turn it around and then cut off the excess. And so that is now my tape my frame taped up at the back. Right, to finish the frame off on the back, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put felt bumpers onto the bottom and onto the top. So we take the felt bumper, we place it there, one there, one there, and on the top corners.
bearing in mind that in Italy I know that you use a hanger from the centre here, so you would need two bumpers at the top. In the UK we have a hanger there and there with a cord across. If you're using that system you don't need to put the bumpers at the top, you only need bumpers at the bottom. And of course that bu those bumpers don't mark the wall and they allow for the free airflow around the actual frame itself.